All right, guys, this is Jay, and I am back with Oak Key Investors. I know that I've been away for a while, but again, we're just now starting this up. In this video, uh, we're going to share with you what we've been doing and try to sort of catch up what's working and what's not working with real money. So far, the Old Faithful, which is our 1EA, the PEA, EA, is still working. Um, it doesn't really trade that often which is a good thing because we have the settings as such where it doesn't just dive into the U.S. market because that's where all the losses were made. So I think it's up around 40 percent. I'll make another video explaining that. Now, since we have a few people in our very small group, we've decided to start testing instead of complaining about it, calling everyone frauds. We've decided to start testing the um, the telegram signal services. And we started off with seven. A couple of them were just right out fraud. So how are we going to test these? Because, you know, you can get signals at any time during the day within, you know, it's, it's 4X is 24, 6, if nothing else. So we have to be very careful. Hold on. Okay, back to what I was saying, you know, 4X is, is 24, 6, right? So signals can come at any time. I'm based in the U.S. and most of the trades for most of the signal providers is during the London session and in the London session that's anywhere between 2 and 4 p uh, 4 a.m. for me so that's not a good thing so this this TS copier telegram signal copier uh, supposedly supposedly is that, is that a word yeah, I think it is but what it does is it takes the text off of a telegram message and put it into a signal format and execute it on MT4 or MT5 depending on what you have. So that uh, enables us to test several signals at the same time. Now there's a couple of downsides to that. One of them that I noticed this week is you have to make sure that you have the commands right. You have to make sure that you have the signals right um, in the message. In other words, uh, one may call uh, the Dow Jones, uh, U.S. Dow, another one can call it U.S. 30, uh, someone else can call it totally different names. So you have to make sure that you sync all of those things. So it's taken a little bit of time to get used to that. That's why I don't blame the signal provider initially. We'll go back in and tweak, and that's what's going to happen this week. Last week, we were down. Um, this shows you this is what the dashboard looks like. So we started with a thousand dollars, and again, guys, we are still um, trying to test seven to eight of these at one time. So you can see the expense on that. So that's anywhere between two hundred to five hundred dollars that we're spending just on signal services alone. And of course, this copier service is right around fifty or sixty dollars by itself. That's why I'm a big proponent at forming a mastermind. If you're not part of our mastermind, form a mastermind of like-minded friends, buddies, investors, and make sure that you test, operate, test, exit. We use the same tote mechanism or philosophy that people do with uh, in, in the tech world. Simple to me. Test, operate, test, exit. And then we look at... Uh, get down. Okay. And these are some of the signal providers that we were testing. 25 pips, and it shows on the dashboard. And this is still the um, this is still the first page of the dashboard. And it shows each one. Uh, this one was up a half a percent based on the settings that I gave it. And I can show you what the risk was going to be. Uh, it shows the win loss percentage. It's pretty cool. It's a good setup, but it's not perfect. So you have to be very careful again on how you set these things up. Now, this was all last week, and this is 9 11. I'm sorry, this is 9 10, uh, Sunday, 9 10. And you can see, oh, no, you can't see that. No problems. But uh, this one was our most expensive service, and for two weeks, it was $66 for two weeks worth of signals, and it sucked. It was the <laughs> so so with, with with six of us or 10 of us, we only paid six dollars a piece just to realize that it sucks. So that's better than us paying um, uh, sixty six dollars a piece and then putting it on a real account. So we're canceling this one for next week. This is we have a lifetime service. This is pretty good. 
Now, I've got to still go back and check what the drawdown was, but it was uh, 1.6 for the week. That's not bad at all, especially if you're going to be dealing with prop firms. But I've got to go back and check based on our risk. What was the drawdown on obtaining that 1.6? Is that six? Yeah, that 1.6. And of course, uh, this JD. Uh, yeah, uh, point one. I, I was a little disappointed because as far as signal signal services go this is a little bit more to the expensive side of it nothing's expensive if it's making you money i just want to make that perfectly clear and metabear this one seems to be our star but i think there were some drawdown issues on that but we'll check that out this week nancy forex uh i think that this is a good service but i don't think it's built for this copier so you can't judge everything just by this and of course we have prop trading signals and the trade the trade copier just doesn't pick up these type of signals the way that they're formatted so we won't be working with this next week all right let me show you what we're working with this week again this is sunday uh 9 10 september 10th or if you're overseas it'd be september 11th Okay, guys, as you can see, I've reset everything for this week. I'm going to give this one a shot. And now there were a couple of settings, and we know what they are, that we sort of changed it, and we're going to see if it if it increases performance with this 25 pips. Because most people said that this thing was a scam. Now, I understand why they're saying that, because many of the trades, you can't get in. Once they sign the signal, they're already in the trade. But I'm wondering, would this thing work if we just took them as market order? So that's what we're going to try this week with 25 pips. Now, as you know, we've taken trash EAs and we've turned them into winners. Uh, we've taken a $100 EA and it's outperforming an $1,800 EA. And I'll, I'll share that video with you again if you like to see it. Um, we're taking this one totally out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven that we'll be testing uh, this week. So if you want to see how this and who's going to be the winner, See, we reset it to just a thousand dollars. So, and we're dealing mostly with this one is the biggest percentage of an account that we're using, which is Forex Guru, and uh, which is two percent of the account. The rest of them are like one percent. And FX Forex, we actually have a, um, a a set lot, a set lot for these guys. And I'm going to actually change that to a dollar a pip, I think. Hmm, maybe fifty cents a pip. And uh, the rest of it, we're just going to set. This is 0.5, a half a percent uh, per trade. Now, these are per trades. But at the same time, we also had to go in and adjust how many trades would be open for a certain provider. Because, for instance, we only have $1,000 in here, right? One of the providers, they gave us, they gave us the instruction to never have more than four trades open with a $1,000 account. Hopefully, uh, because we have so many on here, um, it won't affect it much. It won't skew the results. But again, we just want cursory type of of results right now. That's all we want to know is what's working with real money. So just join us back. I'll make a couple more videos on other things right now. But uh, uh, join us back at the end of the week and see what works and what doesn't work with these with this set of signals. Go out there and make some real money, guys.